So friends, I'm standing in front of the White House Hotel. It says established as the White House Inn in 1895. This hotel was first opened as a boarding house by Coral White. By 1910, the White House had grown in popularity and became a tourist dest destination. The campus encompassed six residential buildings connected by a grand colonnade of Corinthian columns and accommodated 150 guests. A survivor of both Hurricane Camille and Hurricane Katrina, the White House Hotel is listed in the National Register of Historical Places and designated a Mississippi landmark in 2010. Believe it or not, there's Elvis history right here, but it's something different than you would think that it would be. The night that Elvis and June dated the very first time, they were driving and laughing, and they laughed so hard that he pulled over, and he just happened to pull over in front of the White House Hotel. And when he pulled over in front of the hotel, they went across to the pier that was over here and walked out on the pier. So there's the White House Hotel. And I know it's a little breezy, but that's the way it is at the beach. But there's pieces of a pier right here. A lot of these piers got damaged in those two hurricanes and are gone now unfortunately but it was a really big long pier and we know that it was along in here we just don't know where So I'm gonna let Trey tell you the story. So right here on this beach in front of the White House Motel in Biloxi, a great Elvis story happened. The first night that Elvis met June Juanico, Elvis asked June if he, uh, she would show him around the town. So June and Elvis drove around that evening after his show and they stopped at a um, diner, I believe, and drank some Cokes, a little uh, air place that had some live music things like that you know of course they both were underage they couldn't really do anything but anyhow they stop at the White House Motel because of course June didn't want the night to end and they go out and sit on the beach right here where you are looking at somewhere in this area and they spend a few hours out here and this is where June Juanico in her book which I highly recommend if you're an Elvis fan this is where she said she fell in love with Elvis Presley right here on this beach and right in front of us over to the right a little bit was the White House Pier. Unfortunately it was destroyed in that hurricane in the 1960s that pretty much just demolished Biloxi but the pier was right over here in this area. I'm sure the spy guy will show you an aerial of, of the place but they walked out on this pier that evening and I believe that Elvis and June had their first kiss on that pier. So this was where Elvis and June and Nico first fell in love in Biloxi. And you need to read the story because, you know, Elvis was a jokester and he said some funny things. I think he said something while sitting on this beach like, June, look up at the moon and let's spoon. I don't know what Elvis was meaning by that, but uh, yeah, so, you know, there's some funny things that happened right here on this beach. But yeah, it happened here in Biloxi, Mississippi, across the street from the White House Hotel, which is still there. And uh, Elvis and June when Nico was here. But thanks for watching this episode. Hey, if you're in Biloxi, be sure to go to the White House Motel, go across the street and walk on the beach, because you know Elvis was there once upon a time in his life. So friends, one last thing. Out here on this beach, right here, in front of the White House Hotel is where Elvis told June that he first fell in love with her. That happened right here. Love is a many splendored thing. Oh, it's a splendored thing, isn't it?